mycotoxins can cross the blood-brain barrier. A study has shown that T2 toxin can cross this barrier and accumulate in the brain, ultimately leading to neurotoxicity. Other studies have shown that a mycotoxin called DON reduces blood-brain barrier integrity and causes toxic effects at very low concentrations. Studies indicate that molecular oxidative stress is a direct mechanism of the toxicity, and brain cells are vulnerable to oxidative stress damage caused by multiple mycotoxins, including ochratoxin A. Studies have shown that mycotoxins can cause loss of myelin, leading to symptoms similar to multiple sclerosis, chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy and other demyelinating disorders. T2 toxins cause cell death of neurons and inflammation in the brain. Ochratoxin A causes loss of dopaminergic neurons and cell death in certain brain areas, such as the substantia nigra, striatum and hippocampus. And the hippocampus is the area of the brain implicated in depression. I've personally been on my own health journey when it comes to mycotoxins. My ochratoxin A levels were off the chart. And do you want to know the culprit? Coffee. For others, the most common food source of ochratoxin A would be cereals, and chocolate can also be an issue to consider. Dealing with mold is no laughing matter. I develop nerve pain in both hands and down one leg, as well as mast cell activation syndrome. So best to get it checked out if you think mycotoxins could be an issue for you too.